Hello everyone, Nate Ducks here, and welcome back to Project Peaks. We're here in the township where, in the last episode, we went ahead and built that guy up in the sky there, which honestly doesn't look great uh, from that angle. Really, an angle, but it is a raid farm for our pillager outpost. It worked at the time, but I think it's broken now, which is kind of a shame. We didn't get to use it too long before a Minecraft update works. That's bedrock for you. But we made a cool shot for it, which obviously now I can't really so much from. And uh, off camera, I went ahead and made a shot myself here, and it's the iron shop. And as you can see by this time lapse that's playing over, it covers the iron farm now. It's been here and been kind of ugly for a while. But yeah, basically I have a underground hopper system that leads it over here where all of the iron goes to. Fills up this chest and it works pretty nicely. At the moment, the server is relatively inactive. That leads me to some bad-ish news. This is the last episode of Project Peaks, at least for me. It's been very fun and I love all of the different builds I've done, all of the different storylines and getting to interact with people on this server. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up the town because look at all this mess. Cinnamon is not happy <laughs> with the fact that this all of this trash is left everywhere, and it's all over the whole town, pretty much. I basically want to just finish stuff, uh, make things look all pretty, maybe add in some different details, like maybe a billboard on the back to cover that up. I don't know, um, but there's some weird stuff, like the green there, moss, some dirt there. Maybe we'll add a nice little park in the front here, just to kind of make things wrap up more nicely. But I don't want to just stop at the shopping district. I also kind of want to go and do some of the stuff over here at the township. Like, apparently this got caught on fire, so we're going to want to repair that, do different stuff like that, fix the storage system. And I was thinking of going ahead and finishing this, but it's way too big of a project, to be honest. So I'm going to take a rain check on that. And by rain check, I just mean I'm not going to do it. But, but the first plan we're going to do to clean up the rest of the city is we need to put it all in storage somewhere. So yeah, we're going to want to go ahead and get the storage system here all sorted out, which would be easier if my automated system wasn't broken. So we're going to have to repair the system to get it to work again because while I could go ahead and put it in normally, I think it would be nice at least to be able to just have it auto sort in to the system. So we'll be doing that first and I'll see you when it's all repaired. All right, so I went ahead and finished up the input system and yeah, it wasn't too tricky. I kind of just looked up how to do it and once I figured it out, it works. Uh, it just does not look good back here, but that's uh, that's not my problem. We'll just kind of hide it. Also, I fixed the door. So now that the, the door can open, I'm leaving the key card in because I don't really need to worry too much, but it works nicely. And yeah, to show the, the system working, I'll put in some soul sand, which will go up into the soul sand chest up here, as you can see like that. Um, it goes all the way through, and eventually it gets into the in output chest here, which then I sort into here. So now for the actual tricky part, we have the storage system all up and running, the shulker box unloader is all good to go, and everything. The tricky part now is we have to go ahead and get every single item into a shulker box, pack that up, put it in here. Let's go and get some shulker boxes. Not even lying, this took three hours. I mean, look at this mess. All right, so we're completely sorted for the most part, unless there's hidden chests all over the place. But yeah, thanks to Midas for helping out, but we got everything. Why do we need this much magenta concrete? This is literally all filled with magenta and purple concrete. And it's kind of nice. It's somewhat like spring cleaning and all of that. The The best part is being over here and not having a load of chests just all over the place. It's pretty nice. As I said earlier, what we're going to be doing is going ahead and making the server all prettier, more clean, and all of that sort of stuff and finishing up projects. Well, at the very first episode, I think, it might have been episode two, I don't know, remember exactly, but we were doing this bay area and I continued going around and I never finished it. <laughs> it's one of those things I never got to, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this little section here with the kind of stone whatever design this is I don't really know what to call it but yeah I'm gonna do that in a time-lapse
All right, and we're done with the coastline. I'm really liking the way it looks. It actually only took me like 20 minutes to set up. So am I a little annoyed that I, I spent basically a year going back and forth on whether to <laughs> do it? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it would have made this place look so much nicer so much earlier, but at least we have it done now, and I can say that this Bay Area is complete. But we're going to turn our attention over to the city here because we have these two plots here. Also, uh, thanks to Midas for helping put in these lamp posts with the roads on them. I, I think they look very nice around here. But besides the point, we have two empty plots here. Uh, but yeah, it's just very empty right now. And it makes it so that if you're looking at the city, it's like, wow, cool stuff. Very empty. <laughs> These plots, at least, it's in the middle of the city. It's not right at, wi it's not right in your face when you go there. But uh, this part kind of is. So we're going to be going ahead building these two plots here. And the first one, I'm going to do a fountain. And as you can see, we are now complete with the uh, fountain sort of thing here. Might have designed this one. I just decided to build it. I think it works well here and uh, definitely makes it so that it kind of has a nice uh, opening place, I suppose. But that leaves this part here. And here, I want to do something different. Obviously, I can't just do another fountain or whatever. Um, I want to add some more life and the... Uh, current shopping district doesn't have a park with a tree unless you count the christmas tree but like i don't i don't i don't know if i count that as a park <laughs> it's just a it's just where a christmas tree is i do want to go ahead and make a nice walk through park with some bushes some nice custom trees to just kind of add life to to this little um section right here uh so just like before i'm gonna do a twirl and as you guys can see, we now have a nice, lovely park here. Yeah, these trees were kind of painful to make. It came out really cool. It really adds a nice little bit to this area. And I have like some nice flowers here. I'm thinking to name it, uh, Pikmin Plaza and uh, Corrupt Park after Corrupt and Pikmin, even though they were kind of menaces and were banned from the server. They did live here, and this was their land, so it felt right to at least uh, acknowledge that. But what I really do like is how when I'm running over the bridge from the township and enter into the city, now I'm not meet, me now I'm not met with just a blank slate of just empty plots or plots with just kind of garbage on them. <laughs> but instead, I'm, I'm met with this lovely uh, sort of tree, so it's kind of nice. You have this nice little area here that you meet and if you're coming out of the portal you're kind of in the middle of the city but that about wraps it up i actually finished this also um i didn't record myself doing it but uh yeah it has a little bit of interior with a nice elevator um i didn't have anything to put in it so i didn't really put anything in it but it has an interior at least so i could say that it's done another thing that i did was i finished up this giant wall here so it's good. It, it doesn't extend into the water, which is a little bit sad, but it's okay. Um, I also fixed up the sign for the cactus building over here. And I think that, honestly, I think that's everything wrapped up nicely. Um, I have myself the, the parks here all built up. I finished all of my shops, made them look all pretty. Uh, obviously there's some things that, that don't look too great, but these kinds of aren't really my thing to deal with. Like this is Epic's building here. Uh, and while some things maybe look a little dirty and unfinished, the things I can work on at least are finished and all look nice. I don't think this is the last time we'll see the city, though I can't really say much more than that, but I'm actually super proud of how this entire town came out. The entire series came out. It was quite a lot of fun it's very different from any SP sort of style i've had in the past whether it be from mythic or ascendant because while those were cool they felt dif very different here i think just because it's a very different play style with this even though it has a shopping district and stuff it was very more chaotic because yeah a lot more different stuff and there was a storyline in it i mean i was the dictator for a bit which is crazy 
it's just been a lot of fun. And if you've watched through all the episodes, maybe you're doing a rewatch for whatever reason. Thank you. But yeah, it's been a roller coaster of a year. And if you think that, oh, okay, now that he's made a video, it's his last video, he's probably going to be done for a while. That's not true. I'm actually going to be doing a series. This is my self promotion part of the video. Uh, if you're watching this on the day that I upload, it's going to be this Sunday, and it's in Doza Season 2. If you don't know what in Doza Season 1 is, I don't blame you. It is pretty hard to watch. <laughs> but it's a uh, series where it's kind of like roleplay, kind of survival. Um, it's it's going to be pretty fun. I hope you watch it. I'm going to be doing it live because you kind of have to be live, but I'll also be making videos out of it. Uh, so that's kind of going to be taking the place for Project Peaks for a while. I may do a series when 1.20 comes out, don't hold me to it, but I would love to do a single player series, but I've been talking about doing a single player series since like 1.16, so <laughs> I don't think there's much luck with that. But what I gotta do now, and what I've wanted to do in past series, but literally haven't gotten the chance because I've, had, I've ended the series faster than I've been able to actually really get into them. Alright, let me go into here and find myself some nice blue flowers here. So, as the series comes to an end, I kind of want to, it may seem a little bit grim, I'll be honest, but I kind of want to um, bury myself <laughs> alive. <laughs> oh, it, may, it may seem a little harsh, but I kind of want to remain in one place. Guys, I guess this is it. I guess this is the end of Project Peaks, the end of an era for me. I couldn't be more proud, and I've said this many times, I couldn't be more proud of the stuff that we did on the server and the things that we've accomplished. This isn't the end of the channel, it's just the end of a series done the way that I want to do it. This, yeah, I, I get it. It may be grim, but here lies Natty Ducks. I cannot spell my <laughs> Oh my. This is supposed to be all somber and sad, and then yet here I am just being like not able to spell my name at all. That's a little bit sad. Um, Natty Ducks 2022 to 2023. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and for being on this journey with me. I appreciate it so much. I hope to see you guys in Endoza coming very soon. Without further ado, this has been Natty Ducks signing off.